Hi everyone. I'm reviewing the Mars Hydro TSW2000 LED plant light that I have over a few of my plants. And I wanted to give you an idea of the features and how well it works. At any rate, under this particular light, I have a number of different plants that right now it's marjoram, rosemary, uh, thyme, and lemon thyme. Uh, they're all growing really well under this light. And at this point in time, I have it at 100% uh, power. At 100% power, it uses 298 watts of electricity. When you first get it, you have to assemble it, which means attaching the two drivers and the control panel and then connecting it to the electricity. You also need to plug the drivers into the light on the sides. The control unit is connected into the uh, two drivers with this cord and it's really kind of nice because it has an on-off switch. It has a uh, input and output that you use uh, RJ45 cables in and this is what you would use to daisy chain lights so that you can con um, control a number of lights up to 10 with the on off and um, for the amount of power in them. With the dimmer you control the brightness of the light as well as the wattage being used by the light. So since this light uses 298 watts at full power. If you turned it down to 75%, it turns the brightness down to 75% and you'd use 75% of the electricity. Also, I'm going to turn this all the way down. It goes down to 5% and show you the configuration of the lights. So you've got white, red, yellow, and Obviously, these plants seem to like that. I took some power readings of these plants as they, they're arranged right now to give you an idea of the disbursement of this lighting. This middle one is uh, 18 inches from the light. It's a um, sage plant or a rosemary plant, and it's uh, 745 par where and it's really toward the center and front of the light. The right rear plant is getting 320 par. The right front plant is getting 320. They're off to the side a little bit. The one in the back is getting uh, 525, but it's a little more centered in the lighting. And these are all 24 inches from the light. And the one in the front is out from the front, and it's getting 360 par. Uh, the way this compares to some of the other lighting, um, for example, I have the 8-lamp uh, hydroplanet light. I have the 8-lamp T5 um, hydroplanet light that is about two foot by four foot and that's the area it covers. It doesn't cover much to the outside of the light. Um, the uh, hydro planet light uses with um, LED bulbs in it by the way which I changed the T5s to LEDs. I don't know if you can see them but it uses about the same electricity as the TSW2000 uh, Mars Hydro light. Things I like about the other light though, um, the this uh, A tube light you have to have really close to the plants so when you want to water them it's more difficult to get to them and you know without bumping your head or whatever so it makes it a little more difficult to take care of the plants plus it just has, both of, I have two lights in here, they have a more ominous look about them. They don't look as spacey. Whereas if you look at the uh, the Mars light, it's much smaller and it covers the, actually the same area or a little more because of the way the shield around the light is placed. 
So, all in all, I, little by little, I'm switching over to the Mars Hydro Lights, and I think I like them a lot better, although the uh, eight tube lights do work really well on a shelving unit. If you have shelves of plants, they work well because the light has to be close to the plants. In addition, I like the idea that I can set the Mars Hydro lights up higher so it's a little, lot easier to take care of the plants. And also, I very much like the idea that I can control the brightness of the light to suit the plants that I have under them. And electricity-wise, it's about the same. The uh, TSW 3000 uses more electricity, which I also have, but I'll cover that in a different review. Um, I hope this review was helpful for you, and thank you for watching.